Hi, my name is Beth and this is a story about my son and his bedwetting problem. It all started when he was eight even though he had a few accidents before that, but it only happened every now and then and we sort of dealt with it. At about eight years old Adam started to wet his bed nearly every night. I am a single, working mom so his wetting created a lot of extra work cleaning up. First, I took him to the doctor to see if there was a medical problem, there was none that the doctor could find. He thought it was an underdeveloped bladder and told me that it happens time to time. He didn't suggest any treatment and said that it would work itself out. Adam was very embarrassed by the whole thing saying that he was going to try harder not to wet, but it continued. With the added washing and a ruined mattress, not to mention the smell in his room, I was at my wit's end. I stayed up at night to wake him and get him to the toilet, better, but he still wet now and then and I was fast becoming a zombie. I decided to take action that we could both live with. First I bought a second-hand mattress that didn't smell. I bought a plastic cover to put over it too. At least only the sheets were going to get wet from then on. Adam felt very bad about all the trouble the wedding was causing so I didn't make too big of a deal about it. I told him that lots of kids his age still wet the bed and there were other things that we could do to help him get a good night's sleep. He was tired and frustrated every morning that he woke up wet and it showed up in his marks at school which were getting worse and worse. I started to look for any other solutions that would work for him, I asked his doctor again, and he said that I should just wait for him to grow out of it or maybe try a bedwetting alarm. Great maybe that will help, I found one at Sears, expensive, I bought it and when I got home I showed it to Adam, explaining how it worked by sensing when he started to wet his PJs and how it made a noise just like an alarm clock so he would stop wetting and get up to use the bathroom. Well, the first night I was sleeping in my room and I heard the alarm go off. It kept ringing and ringing and I didn't hear him get up so I went to check on him. He was still sound asleep and by this time, soaked. I finally woke him up and changed the bed. We were both wreck s in the morning. I told him that we will keep trying until we find something that works. One Saturday morning while I was grocery shopping I happened into the baby diaper aisle. Well just for the fun of it, I picked up a package of Pampers size 6 and started to read the information on it. Maybe it was time to put Adam back in diapers. I thought about it for all of two seconds and the package was in the cart. I didn't know how I was going to tell Adam but I thought that if he sees that bed stays dry when he wets the diaper he might accept them. That night before Adam got out of the bath I opened the package and prepared one to put on him. I knew that it was not going to be easy but I had to try. Adam got out of the bath with a towel wrapped around him and was going to his bedroom to get his PJs on. I called him just at the right time and asked him to come over to me. He asked me what I wanted as he came closer. I asked him to look at what I had bought for him. He screamed a diaper dash I am not going to wear a baby diaper you can't ask me to do that. Just hold it Adam, feel how nice and soft it is. It is the only way that you are going to be able to keep your bed dry if you keep on wetting. I watched as he handled the diaper, he was slowly coming around. Then he asked if I was going to put it on him. He was really shy about his privates. I told him that I was going to put them on him and not to worry because he didn't have anything that I had not seen before and after all, I was the one cleaning up his pee after he wet so why not put the diaper on him. After thinking about it for 5 or so minutes Adam agreed to try them. I took his towel off and spread it out on the floor and told Adam to sit down in the middle of it. He looked very nervous but he complied anyway. The diaper just fit but the tapes stretched as far as they could and I was worried that they would let go in the middle of the night and if that happened he may not want to try them again. A little quick thinking and I went and got a pair of his underpants to go over the diaper. Wait I told him, I'm not finished, I then went and got some safety pins and pined his underpants to the diaper to hold the diaper in place. When I was finished he stood up and walked around getting used to who they felt. They crinkled a little as he moved around and he felt the bulge of them with his hands. Come on Adam, don't look so sad, I am sure that you'll be dry soon and that you won't need diapers anymore. Now let's get you into your PJs and into bed. There, with your PJs on you can hardly notice the diaper. Give me a hug and I'll tuck you in for a nice dry night I hope. I got up early and made breakfast for the two of us, I couldn't wait to see how the diaper worked out. Around 8.30 Adam strolled into the kitchen with a big grin on his face. Well, what happened, did you have a dry night? No, I wet the diaper pretty badly and it leaked a little but it's a lot better than soaking the bed. Come here and let me see. You're right, the PJs are a little wet. Come on and we'll take your diaper off and I'll show you how to shower just your lower half and get ready for the day. I started to diaper Adam every night and things got better for him, like his schoolwork improved and he wasn't tired all the time and for the first time in a long time he was happy. There was still the problem of the leaks so I set out to see if there was any solution. By talking to other parents in a relaxed sort of way, I soon learned that bedwetting was pretty common, even among teens. Everyone had trouble with diaper leaks whether because of overflow, heavy wetter, or because most kids slept on their sides. 
One day, just by chance, my Aunt Ellen called and asked why Adam and I had not been to visit. She lives about two hours away by car in the country on the other side of the city. I hesitated telling her why, thinking of the promise not to tell anyone that I had made to Adam, but being that she had grown children, I thought she might be able to help. So I told her that Adam was having a problem with bedwetting and that he was very shy about it. She replied, not to worry and that her son went though the same thing. She told me to tell Adam that she understood that it wasn't his fault and that he was welcome to come and visit any time and that she missed him. I told her that I had put him in disposable diapers and that they worked well except that they leaked now and then when he slept on his side. She asked me if I was using waterproof plastic pants on over Adam's the disposable diaper. Plastic pants, you mean old-fashioned baby pants, I haven't seen those in the stores in ages. Do they still make them and does anyone still use them? When I had Jeffrey they were still being used with cloth diapers and I used them on him when he was a baby. Later when Jeffrey started to wet the bed, he was about Adam's age then, I decided to put him back in cloth diapers. Disposable diapers were just too small for him at that time, I think they were only making up to size 4, not like today where they make bigger sizes. Anyway, I took Jeffrey with me to the local department store and I asked a sales lady in the baby section if they carried larger sized waterproof plastic pants to put over cloth diapers. I had Jeffrey with me and she looked at him and said to fit this young man I nodded yes and Jeffrey turned beet red. Well she picked out a package of Gerber toddler size plastic baby pants and told me that they would keep him dry on the outside and that they worked well when put on over well padded underwear or pin on cloth diapers. She said that if he was a heavy wetter to just increase the diaper thickness. I asked her if she was sure that they would fit him and she replied that they would fit a child all the way up to 140 pounds, or 14 years old. The waist elastic will stretch out to over 30 inches, so there's lots of room for diapers with them on. Really, I said, I just couldn't imagine Jeffrey still in diapers at that age. She told me that customers would be too shy or embarrassed to buy them if they were marked bed wetter pants or waterproof youth pants so Gerber and other companies just left them marked as toddler sized or super sized baby pants and parents started to realize that they would perfectly fit their bedwetting children. She said that she thought that the companies knew that parents of bedwetting children were buying them for their kids. After all have you seen any babies with 25 inch waistlines lately, she laughed. It's a simple solution for a hush-hush problem and you'd be really surprised if you knew how many pairs of these we sell and how many older children are still in diapers every night. When I paid for them the cashier gave me that look as if she knew who was in for a treat, Jeffrey was good about it though. He understood that all the extra washing was a burden on me and his room smelled of stale pee plus nobody was sleeping through the night. The only thing that was being talked about in the house was his wedding, so he didn't oppose the diapers too much. To my surprise, I had kept his original diaper pins and remembered where I had put them. After dinner I gathered up all the things that I would need to diaper him, lotion oil and powder, while he watched TV. At about 8 o'clock I told him to go and get into the bath and give himself a good scrub, he laughed. I let him soak a while and then told him to get out and dry himself off and come to the bedroom and that I had laid out his PJs for him. So very unsuspectingly he walked into the room with the towel still wrapped around himself. I had a change pad laid out on his bed with the baby oil, powder and diaper pins beside it and a cloth diaper placed on it so that it was ready for him to sit on. He then realized what was going to happen and that I was going to diaper him right there and then. Jeffrey looked a little sheepish and embarrassed but I insisted that this was going to be the best solution for both of us and that diapers weren't going to hurt him and that they were going to be pretty comfortable to wear and sleep in. I took his hand and brought him closer to the bed and removed the towel as he stared at the diaper and things. His skin was still wet so I toweled him off again and positioned him so he could sit down on the diaper in exactly the right place. I had him lay back on the pillow and he just closed his eyes, not wanting to watch, as I applied the baby oil and powder to his bum and privates. The only comment he made was that he liked the smell of the baby powder as I raised his legs and adjusted the diaper under him. He instinctively opened his legs as I brought the front of the diaper up and stretched it up and over his tummy. I took the back and front corners and joined them together on one side and held them squeezed together with my fingers as I slipped the diaper pin though them and fastened them together. I then did the other side and he opened his eyes knowing that he was covered and watched me finish the top. Because he wasn't a baby anymore I thought it best to pin his diaper using four pins so it wouldn't come off in his sleep so I pinned the diaper again at his legs on both sides thinking it would also be better for leak control. I just stood there and admired my handiwork for a second. Now young man I'll put your new baby pants on you and you'll be all set for the night in a nice dry bed. I opened the package of new plastic pants and took them and shook them out. I think these are going to fit you. With that I sprinkled a little powder in them and waited for Jeffrey to raise a foot and put through the stretched out leg hole. He figured out what I wanted him to do and it wasn't long before I was sliding the soft vinyl baby pants up his legs to the waiting diaper. He lifted up at just the right moment for me to slip the pants on under and over the diaper. There, see, the sales lady was right, 
Lots of room in there for thicker diapers if you need them. Well, what do you think? I take it, by that smile on your face not so bad, eh? Get up and walk around and see how they feel. I watched as he paraded around in his diaper and puffy plastic baby pants. By this time I knew that they would be starting to feel all warm and comfy. I checked to see how tight the leg elastics were and if I had gotten the diaper on right. I liked the way the baby pants covered all the cloth diaper and especially how they had a very full cut seat meaning lots of room for more diapers if needed and how the elastics pulled the pants tight against legs and at his waist to form a leak proof seal. The blue headed diaper pins showed through the semi transparent baby pants and that looked cute. He felt and pulled out the pants with his hands saying that they were almost too big. I asked him if he wanted to watch a little TV before bed and that way he could get used to the diaper. He said okay and told me he was a little thirsty so I gave him some juice, I didn't care if he had a drink because he had the diaper on and it would probably help test the diaper wetting capacity. Later, I put him to bed and gave him a hug and a kiss and tucked him in. It had been a big day for both of us and I was hoping that he would accept the diapers and that he would see the merits of wearing them to bed. The next morning I was cooking breakfast when he got up and waddled into the kitchen. His diaper was obviously soaked just by looking at how it was bunched up and sagging between his legs. The baby pants were now plum shaped supporting the wet diaper and not the puffy plastic pants of the night before. But there was something else that was very remarkable, he had a smile on as big as the world, from ear to ear. Well I asked, how is the bed this morning, is it wet, did your diaper leak any? No mom it's dry, I didn't leak any and the diaper worked great. So Beth this is how Jeffrey and I solved his problem and with time it became no problem at all for him to be in and use his diapers. Come to think of it when I was cleaning up some of his old stuff, last month, I found four new pairs of Gerber toddler sized baby pants and some of his old diapers. I must have bought the baby pants just before he moved to the next larger size. The diapers were used by him but there is still plenty of wear left in them. The baby pants are new and still in their unopened package, you're welcome to them. I am sure they'll solve your leaky diaper problem. I'll put them in the mail for you today, too bad that I don't have any more of them to give you. Check at the stores near you, they may have some old stock tucked away, just make sure that you get the toddler or super size ones. You know it would be nice to have a young diapered boy around again, so tell Adam that I am waiting for a visit and that the bedwetting problem is not a valid excuse to stay away, okay, keep me informed and I'll try to help you if I can. Bye Beth, good luck. That night I confessed to Adam that I had told his aunt Elian about his problem. He forgave me saying that it was alright if she understood and didn't make fun of him being put back in diapers. I told him that her son, Jeffrey also wet the bed and that he had to wear diapers too and that she used waterproof plastic pants over his to stop the leaks. I didn't call them baby pants when I explained them to Adam fearing that I might think that he was a baby. The next morning was Saturday and Adam and I went shopping together for some supplies for school and of course I wanted to inquire about the baby pants. I remembered that Elian had said that Jeffrey had moved to a bigger size and I wondered what the rest of the story was. At the first store we got some of his stuff and I wandered over to the baby section finding a young service girl and asking her. Do you have any plastic Gerber baby pants in stock? She had a plank expression on her face so it was obvious that she didn't know what I was talking about and I wasn't going to spend to morning explaining it to her. So we moved on to the next store and the same thing happened. Boy did I feel as if I was getting old and ancient asking for stuff that nobody had ever heard of. Finally. I happened into a chain department store and in the baby and infant section there was an older woman. I asked her the same question and her eyes lit up and she smiled saying that she knew exactly what I was looking for. She saw that Adam was with me and asked discreetly if he was the one needing them. Maybe we should introduce ourselves, she said, my name is Katie and I am the supervisor of this section in all our stores and what is your name, young man? Adam. Well Adam I am going to try to find the things that your mother is asking for, how does that sound? Alright I guess. And what is your name madam? Beth. Well Beth you give me your phone number and I'll have a look at our inventory and see if we can help you and add them out, okay. You know that you're not the first to ask for these, sometimes the old solutions are the best. It a shame that the Gerber stopped making them when they shifted to a new manufacturer because there is still quite a demand for the largest size of these. I'll do what I can for you and for sure I call you and tell you what I found, bye for no and good luck. That was promising, wasn't it Adam? Anyway Elian is sending you some so we will get to see firsthand if they work. Four days went by and then a parcel arrived in the mail, I wanted to open it right away but mom said wait for after dinner and that all my homework had to be done first. The package was addressed to Master Adam Matthews and that was me. Mom got the scissors and we opened the package up, first Jeffrey's cloth diapers came out all folded nicely but you could tell that they were used. At the bottom of the box were four packages of toddler sized Gerber baby pants and they were new. Mom, I'm not going to have to wear baby pants am I? 
Adam I put baby oil on you and you like the smell of the baby powder when I sprinkle it on you and your bum. So what difference does it make if you have to wear baby pants too? They're only called baby pants because they're waterproof and stop the diaper from leaking and that is exactly the problem we're having with your diapers, you know, leaking. Besides these are the same baby pants that your cousin Jeffrey wore when he wet the bed and he's not a baby. I guess you're right mom, so am I going to try them on tonight? Yes, Elian sent everything you need to try them out even some old diaper pins that she sent along. Go and take a quick bath and I'll diaper you for the night when you come out, okay? I went and got everything ready for him on his bed, the powder, oil, lotion, and I took a pair of the new baby pants out of the package just to see if they were going to be big enough while he was still in the bath. To my amazement they were huge and I knew that he would like how soft the vinyl that they were made out of was. I liked how wide they were between the legs and that they were full cut meaning an extra roomy seat. Just perfect for what we need them for, Elian was right about the size now we had to see if they were going to perform as they were intended to. Adam got out of the bath and dried himself off and came to find me in his room just carrying the towel. I checked him and he had missed a few places so I finished the drying job with the towel as he looked at the cloth diapers and baby pants laid out for him on the bed. You're dry enough now Adam so let's get these new diapers pinned on you, okay? Sit down here on the center of the diaper and lean back. With the cloth diapers it is important to us enough oil and powder so you won't get a rash on your bum. Doesn't that feel good Adam and it's going to feel even better once I get your diapers pinned on you and your new baby pants pulled up on over them. Hold still now so that I don't stick you with one of these pins, I don't want to be putting band-aids on you too. There, how do those feel, different from the disposables I bet. Now let's see if your new baby pants are going to fit over them. Just put your feet through the leg hole as I stretch them out. Good Adam, now over your knees and if you can lift a little I'll be able to pull them on over your diaper, very good, my they are even a bit large on you. Can you get up and model them for me please? Wow don't you look cute, just like the little boy that I love, come here and get a hug because you deserve it. Adam and I were starting to have a deeper and more loving relationship than we had ever had before. Maybe it was the trust issue, or maybe because we were sharing his secret. Anyway it had changed in the space of the week from a don't bother me, I don't want to talk about it to a guess what happened to me today type conversation and nothing seemed not on the table. With the ongoing diapering every night we shared a special time together and that is when we talked about anything that was on his mind. I found out how deeply affected and ashamed he felt because of the bed wedding. It was like he had to be a five year old again and speak to me in a language of a younger child, but in other ways he was more mature. He started cleaning his room and picking up after himself, even trying to do the dishes, his homework started to get done on time even to the point where his teacher called me and asked me what I had done and that she liked the change in his attitude. His grades improved and I thought to myself if all this just took diapering and a little caring, it was well worth it. On the Monday of the following week I got a call from Katie at the store and she said that she had found four more pair of the toddler sized Gerber baby pants for me. This was great because ever since Adam started to wear the baby pants at night, the leaks had stopped and I liked using the cloth diapers because if I felt that he had had a lot to drink, all I had to do was add an extra diaper and problem solved. The baby pants were the key ingredient in the diapering and without them I didn't know what I would do. Katie said that she would be back at our store on the weekend and that she would bring them with her. On Saturday morning Adam and I got up early and he changed out of his wet diaper and showered, I put on my face and dressed for the shopping trip. Adam wanted me to pin a disposable to the inside of his underpants just in case he wet. I thought it would be better that way too so I helped him get the diaper pined in place and he finished dressing on his own. We went to some other stores first before getting to the one that Katie worked in. She was happy to see us and remembered Adam's name and made sure to bend down and give him a hug when we arrived. Hello Adam and how are you today? I found the special pants that you wanted, they are hard to come by these days but then I thought about you and how much you are going to need them and then I looked a little more and presto, I found you four new pairs. Aren't you happy? I bet your mom will be. She said with a laugh looking at me. Here you are Beth, these are the last pairs of these that I could find. So enjoy them while they last and for you and your little guy, I put a special price on them. Free because they are old discontinued stock and we can no longer honor the guarantee on them, how's that for service? Say thank you Adam to Katie, for your new baby pants. Thank you Katie. That's fine Adam, I hope they'll help keep you dry on the outside when you're wearing them. Thank you Katie, this is very nice of you. Come on Adam, we can go to McDonald's and celebrate your bargain. At the restaurant I asked Adam if he was wet. He said he didn't think so. So I took that as a yes and took him to the handicapped bathroom to check him. Sure enough he was wet. Good thing I had a spare diaper in my purse and I figured it was a good time to try out the new baby pants on over his underwear and diaper and under his trousers. Adam thought that having the baby pants on over his diaper would stop any leaks. He was happy about that except that they made a crackling sound that he could hear, even under his trousers. 
I told him that he was the only one that would notice. I got our food and sat down in the play area. He had a happy meal and I had a Big Mac. After he finished eating he went to play with the other children in the tubes. No one suspected a thing until his baby pants started to show above his trousers in the back. One of the other mothers pointed it out to me saying that he was showing a little at the back. I called him over, tucked them in and told him to be more careful. The other mother said that she knew of other older kids still daytime wedding but seemed a little surprised that I was using cloth diapers on Adam. I told her that I was because of the disposable leak problems. I told her that they were just as convenient to use and that Adam needed them mostly at night but sometimes during the daytime, just in case. She wanted to know where I had gotten the baby pants Adam was wearing so she could buy some for her daughter because she was having some wedding accidents too. I told her that they were no longer available in stores in the largest sizes and that maybe she could find them on the internet or at yard sales. When we got home Adam changed out of the diapers and baby pants, cleaned up and was out the door to find his friends in a flash. It was as if he had adopted a double life, one being my baby and one, the maturing responsible young man that he was turning into. Most of all he seemed to be able to adjust to both sides without any conflict. I think they call it, well adjusted, and in Adam's case it was, maybe for different reasons. We adopted a system for his diapering and it worked pretty well, I would attend to him when he wanted to feel special and he did all his chores and then some, without me screaming at him. He also rinsed out his wet diapers and baby pants every morning in the shower and hung the baby pants to dry on a line that I put up in the bathroom and he put the diaper in a plastic office garbage pail with a cover that I got at an office supply store. I did a wash of his diapers twice a week and voila, we had a manageable system. The only thing that was troubling was that I didn't have enough baby pants for a good rotation. I had sourced four more pairs on the eBay, but they were more expensive but still cheaper than what I could find in the medical supply stores and they were styled with the full cut seat which I liked. On Thursday night I received a call from Elian wondering what was going on. It had been about a month since I had talked to her last and she wanted to know how Adam was getting along and if I had got her package in the mail. I told her that I did and that everything was just perfect and especially the baby pants. Adam was really happy wearing the cloth diapers and using your diaper pins that you sent. His first night wearing the Gerber baby pants that you sent, was a dry night, at least the bed was dry in the morning. I even diaper Adam for daytime special occasions like shopping or going to the movies. I think he likes the idea that accidents don't happen when he has his diaper on. So when are you guys coming for a visit? How about this weekend? I would love to see Adam again and it has been a long time, please say yes. Adam, Aunt Elian is on the phone and she wants to know if you want to go visit her this weekend? Tell him that I have a special surprise for him if he comes. Aunt Elian says that she has something special for you. What does she have for me, tell me please, I hate surprises, tell her yes I want to go see her, it would be fun and we could go to the playground to together. He says yes, so I guess we will see you Saturday morning before lunch, and he says that he wants to go to the playground with you and I have a lot to talk to you about too. It will be so nice to have you both here for the weekend. I just can't wait to give Adam his surprise. By the way, maybe it would be a good idea to diaper Adam for the trip here, that way there won't be any of those kinds of surprises and we can enjoy ourselves I'm sure he will be more comfortable that way. Looking forward to seeing you too on the weekend, bye for now. Adam, Aunt Elian wants you to be comfortable on the trip there. I think she wants you to wear your diapers and baby pants that she sent you, when we go to see her, is that okay with you? Sure mom, nobody knows me there and I'm more comfortable now in my diapers anyway. I spent Friday afternoon packing for Adam and me, making sure that I had enough diaper supplies for Adam and some casual clothes for me. I didn't know if Elian had anything there in case Adam needed it. He was excited about going and packed up his own toys so that he and Elian could play with them. Saturday morning came and Adam busted into my room telling me that it was time to get up. He still had his wet diaper on and it was sagging between his legs and swaying back and forth as he ran to the bathroom to clean up. I got up and had a little something to eat, not too much, because food doesn't travel well with me. When Adam got out of the bathroom he was bouncing of the walls with excitement. I told him that I had him all packed up and that I had set aside his clothes for the trip. I told him that I had laid out an outfit for him on my bed and that he should go to his room and get his diapers, plastic baby pants, the Gerber ones from Elian, powder, lotion, and oil. If he wanted me to diaper him he had better hurry up. He looked all fuzzy and happy running around the house in just his birthday suit. I fixed my hair and put on my traveling cloths and told Adam to go and use the bathroom before I up his diaper on. He came back into my room and hoped up on the bed looking quit the little monster that he knew how to be. Did you pee in the toilet Adam, I don't want you flooding the car on the way there. Yes I did, okay, it's no big deal, is it, and I am going to have my diaper on anyway. I just want you to be comfortable Adam and sitting in a wet diaper for 3 hours is no fun so if you are telling me a fib I suggest you go and go this time. 
Adam got out of the bed and reluctantly went to the bathroom again and this time I could hear his success. He came back and got up on the bed again, this time placing himself over the waiting diaper. I decided to use three diapers on him, one full one that I would pin and two in the center for capacity. I oiled him up all over first and then applied a generous coat of powder which he especially liked. I then held the baby pants out ready for his anxious feet to find their way through the leg holes. As I slipped the plastic pants up his legs and closer to the diaper I could tell that he was in seventh heaven as he lifted up so that I could slip them over his diaper. Okay, they're all tucked in and now let's get the rest of your cloths on. I bought you a pair of blue cargo pants one size larger than you need and I took them in at the waist so that they would fit over your diapers. They won't show any wet spots if you leak a little and I hope you like them and try to keep them clean for me, will you? We were finally ready to go and headed for the car.
I had packed Adam's bag the night before so that we would be ready for the tip in the morning. I put in some of his toy cars and other small toys so that he could occupy himself. It was also a great opportunity to try out the new bag that I purchased especially for his other things. It was small enough so that it looked like my big hand bag and it had a zippered pocket on the side that would fit my purse and some makeup but the best part was that I could pack Adam's diapers and plastic baby pants in it if we had to go out for an extended period of time. Just the perfect carry-along bag, for what I wanted it for. The compartments inside were lined with waterproof vinyl and I folded up a couple of plastic bags for storing his wet diaper if needed. Two pairs of plastic baby pants, two disposable baby diapers for soakers, four pre-folded cloth diapers, six pins, small jar of Vaseline, small bottle of baby oil, some J&J &J baby powder and some small face clothes for wiping and cleaning him. Well this should be fun. The only thing that I didn't like was that if he got the leg elastics on his baby pants too wet and we needed to change them, then I would have to take his trousers right off and that can be difficult to do in a small bathroom. I was going to ask Elian if she might have a solution for that problem. All set to go Adam? Well get in and sit on the booster seat and I'll buckle you in. Do you want your teddy to hold onto for the trip? Bear was a special friend that he had had ever since kindergarten. I got him for Adam to help him adjust to school. Poor Bear has been washed so many times that you would think that he would have drowned by now, but he still occupies a special place in Adam's heart and the two are pretty much inseparable. Adam scoped up Bear in his arms and with a big smile on his face we were ready to go. He was happy and content to have the extra cushion on under his pants. The traffic was light and we zipped through the city in no time. Soon we were on the highway leading to Elian's house. Adam was dozing off and on still trying to keep hold of Bear. He had that look on his face and I hoped that he wasn't flooding his diaper. We turned the corner on Elian's street and I could see her waiting at the door as we got closer. We parked in the driveway and I yelled out to Adam we're here and with that Adam awoke and the first thing he did was to put his hands down and feel the front of his pants. I guess his diaper was still warm from his wedding and he thought that he had leaked. Adam, everything is okay, you didn't leak anything. Elian opened the back door and greeted Adam, first unbuckling him and then taking him in her arms when he got out of the car. She lifted him up in the air and hugged him so tightly I thought that he would suffocate. She patted him on his bum just to see if he had his diaper on under his trousers. She smiled an approving smile when she was satisfied that he did and then she greeted me all the while carrying Adam in her arms. It's been too long a time since your last visit Beth. I really miss you guys. My, haven't you grown Adam, I can't believe how big you are. I have missed you both so much. Let us get your bags and go inside, I want to hear all of your news and especially, all about you Adam. We picked up our bags and headed into the house, Elian noticed my new handbag and asked if it was for Adam's special things. I nodded that it was and she said that she was glad to see that I was adjusting to the situation. Adam put his bags in her spare room and then came out telling me all about how Elian had redecorated it since our last visit. He was so excited about it that he wouldn't let me continue talking to Elian. Mom, Mom, you just have to come and see the room, please come now. He tugged on my arm so hard that I thought he would pull it out of the socket. Okay, okay Adam, show me what the big deal is. Elian just smiled and said to me go and see. Well, it was all painted with yellow and blue paint and it had cartoon characters stuck on the walls and a very babyish paper border right around the middle of the walls. Wow, what a change, it looked age appropriate for a 5 year old child. The bed was a converted crib, still having the bars on the back and sides and fitted with a larger mattress positioned so that the headboard was made up of the old crib side gate and the crib ends were now the side pieces. It was covered with a nursery print blanket but you could still see that it was covered with a vinyl cover under that. What do you think Adam? It looks like Elian went a little overboard for you. I like it mom, can we do the same thing at home? It would be nice but I think it would be a little hard to explain it to your friends when they come over, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Elian if you keep the room like this I'll come and visit you more often. That would be great Adam. Elian and I left Adam playing in the room and we went out to the kitchen. Over coffee it was time to catch up on all the news. For me it was same old, same old. I still was not in a steady relationship. It had been about three years since I had said ad due to Rick and after a few dating mishaps I had given up the idea for now. For Elian it was the same except that she had joined a fitness club and was taking better care of herself. She was about 18 years my senior which did not seem to be a big difference. We enjoyed each other's company and had a great laugh when we talked about our boyfriends. Elian had one son too, Jeffrey from a previous relationship and the father was never involved, and that was the same story with me and Adam. You know Beth, I was in the same situation with Jeffrey as you are with Adam only it was 16 years ago when it started with us so I know how troublesome bedwetting can be. I took Jeffrey to a few doctors to try to figure out what was the matter and if there was anything that we could do to stop it. I hope that you've had Adam seen by a physician. Many parents suspect that their child is wetting on purpose and punish them every time they wet. How cruel and insensitive some parents can be, is beyond me. Has diapering Adam at night worked out for you and him? He seems happier this visit than the last. Yes Elian it has been a blessing to have him back in diapers at night time again. He took to them like a duck takes to water and yes, he is happier in them. I think it was troubling him that I was spending so much time cleaning up his accidents. 
He now gets his things ready at night and all I have to do is a little pinning, it is so much easier than stripping the whole bed and then trying to get back to sleep afterwards. Adam sleeps better, wakes up happy, does his homework on time and is ready for school when the time comes. So the diapers are a little more work, granted, but they are saving my sanity too. I was hoping that your story would be like mine. Once that I stopped being obsessed with the why and just accepted it and dealt with it things turned around for me and Jeffrey too. I have a little confession to make to you. I made up the spare room for Jeffrey when he comes to stay with me when he's here on business. He still needs to reconnect with his inner child and having the room made up like that helps him relax. I still sew his diapers and order his plastic pants for him. When he comes to stay he always wants me to give him that special attention and I don't mind at all. I sort of get my child back for a few days and he gets a loving mom. Diapers are the order of the day and I get to bath him, change him, rub on the baby oil, powder, Vaseline, and pull on his plastic pants. He still makes an adorable baby all dressed up in his baby outfits. The house smells like a nursery for a few days after he leaves. So are you ready for diapers 101? Do you think Adam will be the same way, I mean, diapers and baby things? He might just like diapers or he could dry up and never be interested in diapers and childish behavior again. It like a person that has been injured in a car accident, the body shuts down using all of its energy to repair and maintain the vital functions. In Adam's and Jeffrey's case they regress in order to repair or fix some other part of them that is troubled. They don't know that they are doing it when they are doing it. Jeffrey still questions why he likes this regressive behavior, but he has learned to accept it and allow it to heal his broken parts. You can see the change in difference in him between the time that he arrives and the time he leaves. But doesn't it cause him problems in the real world? To the contra, he functions much better when he is diapered. Sometimes when he is here and has to go to meeting and is under a lot of stress to perform, I send him discreetly diapered and usually I put a pacifier in his pocket just to let him know that after the meeting he can be a baby again. Well his business associates can't believe how well he does under pressure and they even arrange to do that kind of business here because he's better here than there. You have to look at the whole person, diapered or not, it's not that big of a deal. Do you mind if I call Adam over, I want to check to see that his diapers are not leaking and to ask him if it would be okay for me to change him. No, not at all, he may like the change of changer. Adam, honey, come out here and let me see you. There you are, isn't it funny how, if you know the sound of a wet diaper, you can tell that it's getting about that time. Adam presented himself and let Elian hug him again and she patted him affectionately and inquisitively on his bum. Adam, have you wet your diaper? Adam hung his head and looked over at me for the look that said it was okay to admit that he had. That's okay Adam, after all that's what the diaper is for, isn't it? I'll tell you what, would it be okay for me to help you take off your pants so you won't get them wet and then we can check your diaper to see if you need a change right away, how does that sound? Adam nodded a yes and then he started to undo his pants belt. Adam dear, why don't you let me take care of that? I have lots of experience doing it for Jeffrey, you'll see how good I am at it. Elian undid his belt and pulled his zipper down, widening out the top of his trousers as she pulled them down over his puffy white plastic pants and diapers. There doesn't that feel better. She waited for his smile of approval as he stepped out of his trousers. Now let me see just how wet you are, hold still, it won't take a minute. Bend over my knee a little please. Adam did as she asked and didn't move as she slipped her fingers under the leg elastics of his baby pants and felt the diaper for wetness, then she checked the diaper under the top waist elastic front and back the same way. You know that he is not that wet. I guess that you went potty in the toilet before your mom diapered you this morning. So if you want to go and get your coloring books, you can stand here at the table between us and I'll change you after lunch before we go to the park, okay? Adam ran to the room and hurried back with a couple of coloring books, his wet diaper sandwiched between his legs and his plastic pants crackling as he ran. Elian watched as he returned and opened her legs so that he would have a place to stand at the table. Beth watched as he started to color his books completely oblivious of Elian's gentile touch on the seat of his baby pants. I love the feel of the soft Gerber vinyl baby pants and how they cover the whole diaper, comfort, and protection all rolled into one. We drank our coffee and talked about his school and what he wanted to do when he grew up. He started to get a little antsy, holding his legs together as he was standing there, and Elian realized what he needed to do. Adam, dear, are you uncomfortable? You'll feel better if you just let go. Here let me help you relax. With that, she moved her hand down to the crotch of his diaper and invited him to open his legs as she soothed his upper thigh between his legs with one hand and she rubbed his back with the other. It didn't take too long and then he stopped coloring for a moment and let the pressure escape into his waiting diaper. Elian smiled and gave him an encouraging hug as she felt his diaper warm under the plastic pants as his pee spreading out, absorbing into every corner. It was the first time that I got to watch him wet his diaper. Usually he went and hid to do it, I guess he was more at ease with Elian than I had thought. Elian got up and started lunch asking Adam what he would like completely ignoring what had just happened until Adam went to sit down. Hold it right there Adam, wait until I put something on the chair in case you leak a little. We had lunch and I could feel Adam's growing anticipation about the soon to take place diaper change as there became less food to eat. He had never been changed by anyone else but me. I think he was a bit shy and at the same time excited about the prospect of Elian changing him. Okay Adam it's time to get you clean and dry again so that we can go out to the park and the mall after that. 
Take my hand and let's go to the bedroom and get that wet diaper off and get you into something that I think you'll like just as much. I had packed Adam's bag the night before so that we would be ready for the tip in the morning. I put in some of his toy cars and other small toys so that he could occupy himself. It was also a great opportunity to try out the new bag that I purchased especially for his other things. It was small enough so that it looked like my big hand bag and it had a zippered pocket on the side that would fit my purse and some makeup but the best part was that I could pack Adam's diapers and plastic baby pants in it if we had to go out for an extended period of time. Just the perfect carry-along bag, for what I wanted it for. The compartments inside were lined with waterproof vinyl and I folded up a couple of plastic bags for storing his wet diaper if needed. Two pairs of plastic baby pants, two disposable baby diapers for soakers, four pre-folded cloth diapers, six pins, small jar of Vaseline, small bottle of baby oil, some J&J &J baby powder and some small face clothes for wiping and cleaning him. Well this should be fun. The only thing that I didn't like was that if he got the leg elastics on his baby pants too wet and we needed to change them, then I would have to take his trousers right off and that can be difficult to do in a small bathroom. I was going to ask Elian if she might have a solution for that problem. All set to go Adam? Well get in and sit on the booster seat and I'll buckle you in. Do you want your teddy to hold onto for the trip? Bear was a special friend that he had had ever since kindergarten. I got him for Adam to help him adjust to school. Poor Bear has been washed so many times that you would think that he would have drowned by now, but he still occupies a special place in Adam's heart and the two are pretty much inseparable. Adam scoped up Bear in his arms and with a big smile on his face we were ready to go. He was happy and content to have the extra cushion on under his pants. The traffic was light and we zipped through the city in no time. Soon we were on the highway leading to Elian's house. Adam was dozing off and on still trying to keep hold of Bear. He had that look on his face and I hoped that he wasn't flooding his diaper. We turned the corner on Elian's street and I could see her waiting at the door as we got closer. We parked in the driveway and I yelled out to Adam we're here and with that Adam awoke and the first thing he did was to put his hands down and feel the front of his pants. I guess his diaper was still warm from his wedding and he thought that he had leaked. Adam,